What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today I'm in my garage. So I'm not sure if the lighting is going to be really that great, uh, but don't mind that. Pretty much what we're here for is the floss style frame here. And this is a new frame that just came out, uh, I believe it's on Pyroflip's website. Um, this has a low uh, stack, low center of gravity. And pretty much the purpose of this video is I want to go ahead and show you guys how to build it. And then also just uh, kind of like little specs on it, like how thick the carbon is how thick, um, how much it weighs, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the bench, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look, see what it's all about. All right, guys, we're at the bench, and we have all the parts here. So it pretty much has these two arms that are connected like this. We have the top and bottom base plate, and they're actually identical, so it doesn't matter which one you start off with first. This is the bottom, I guess you can call it, this is like the, the uh, what's it call it? the strap, not strap, but brace for the bottom arms to mount in. So what we're going to go ahead and do first, I suggest doing this, is put them all in here like that and then find a flat surface to kind of just mount them like that on the floor. And then what you want to do is take your arms, slide them in here like so, slide these in like that. And then you take your bottom plate. Doesn't matter which way you really face at this point. Just make sure you do it in the same way, the, the top plate. And then the slide that down. And then you're gonna take your nuts. And you're gonna start them off on there. And make sure you're using the long nuts when you use for the arms, the longest ones that come with it. We got all four on there. And get your wrench or whatever you're gonna use. You might have to hold the bottom in place. And then tighten all the screws down. I have to put a, something on the bottom of it so it doesn't turn the bolts. my thing. There it goes. And then you just want to tighten the bolts down all the way down so they're tight. That's one. That's the second one. Might be easier doing it like this. There you go. Get all these bolts tight up. There you go. That's tight. Now the front ones, tighten those up. And this is a really freaking awesome looking frame, I tell you. It looks sick when you're uh, building it all out. So I'm pretty much what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be building this with. Now this is just going to be a frame video. I'm probably not going to do the build. You know, I already have a build on my channel already. It's kind of the same thing, ESCs, flight controller, cam, okay, and all that stuff. Um, but pretty much what I'm going to be using, I'm using a 401 ESC, because I think this, this frame is really meant for a 401, because their arms are kind of thin to put ESCs on, unless you can find some really skinny ESCs. And I'm going to be using, a, I think, a Speedix 35-amp um, or 30-amp ESC. And then I'm going to use probably Omnibus, a four flight controller that I have left over from another build. And then I have, um, what's I'm going to call it? Um, and make sure this bolt's tight. And then I'm probably going to use either a run cam. Oh, I'm going to use a, not a run cam, Eagle, but a, um, what's I call it? 
the Predator Micro is the camera I'm probably going to be using for it. So all those are on and tight. And the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to grab the small standoffs that you have. So you're going to have longer ones, longer ones, and shorter ones. You want the shorter ones screwed onto here. Get another one. There we go. And then we got another one. So now you have all the short ones on here. And then what you want to go ahead and do is get some of your other small screws here. Put those through in here, like so. Get your bigger standoffs. And tighten those down. I'm not going to really make them too tight because I'm going to have to take this apart anyway so when I start building it. But you want to go ahead and make those tight when you're building it. Get another screw here. And you pretty much want to do that on all the corners. Someone's mill in the yard. I hope you don't hear that. And then get this one through there. So you have all of them like that. And then you want to go ahead and take your top plate, put it on top of like that. And if you have your doing your FPV camera, it does come with these uh, 3D printed mounts for your FPV camera, and those will just go in like so, over, slide it over here. Slide it down there really tight. Uh, same thing on the other side. So then you have your camera mounted in there. And then you just want to go ahead and screw the top plate on. all down, get my right size. This frame is looking sick, isn't it? And uh, so what I'm going to be building this actually with is um, some more F40, no F60 Pro V2s, like I have on my Chameleon. I like those motors a lot, so that's why I went ahead and got some more to put on this build. And um, probably use a I'm just gonna use a TBS Unify for the VTX, and uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it for that. Get the rest of these in there. Those are the old extra bolts and stuff. Some of them are shiny and some of them aren't. I don't really like the shiny ones because they scratch up really easy. And we got it all together. And um, after this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to weigh it, get some measurements on the frame, and then um, that'll probably be it for the video but just kind of wanted to give you a timeline. Let's get this all together. So it looks like in the back po uh, in the package they give you a couple extra standoffs, they give you one short, one long, some extra bolts, some plastic uh, bolts too, and all that stuff, but that's pretty much the frame built in its entirely. Kind of look at it. So let's go ahead and get a measure, uh, weight on this and see what it weighs. And so we're at, well that don't look right, it's 
definitely not 50 grams. So let me fix that. Okay, the flyer spot. I know for a fact this is not 50 grams. There you go. It's showing 86 grams. So that's pretty much what the weight will be. And let's go ahead and do some measurements, see how thick everything is. So I got my handy dandy calibers here. All right, had some technical technical difficulties with the caliper, but I got it recalibrated. So the arms, they are five mil millimeters thick arms. So that's pretty good, and they are it says nine point so about nine millimeters wide. Top plate, it's going to be two millimeters. And that little, uh, the bottom plate's two millimeters as well. And I'm pretty sure that that cross um, section, if I can kind of get a reading on it, if I can really get a reading on it. That looks like it's about one mill millimeter thick, maybe one and a half. No, I think that's, that's two millimeters too. Yeah, it's two. So it's two millimeters uh, for the support bracket there. So yeah, so, um, that should pretty much do it for doing the um, floss style. Show you guys how to build it, how it goes together, and uh, just giving you some more information about it. So I appreciate you guys watching, and if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.